I wonder if these things refill every so often. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Oh. Oh. Always check your turlets. Thinking of tinkering at the workbench? I used to love watching Alex work. Now I like watching you. Okay. <laughs> Awkward. Um, let's go talk to... Can I, now, I can't store stuff in... Oh, I can store stuff in these now. Cool. So maybe... Oh, you know what? Okay. This is going to be random side items this is going to be weapons put a spade in there okay and this is going to be armor great okay We'll do a little bit of sorting. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Know anything about the auto mechanical gathering dust in the janitor's closet? The unit is a cleaning sand. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it, but I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. Hmm. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Look into that right now. I'm in the mood for some entertainment. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Tell me a joke. A neutron walks into a bar and asks, how much for a Rizzo's rum and something? Leering, the bartender replies, for you, no charge. Play my favorite song. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. That's not my favorite song. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. That's not for now. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. Got a minute to talk? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. What if you don't have a power source? I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber. Perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Like how home? she looks up when she's, when she's pondering? I guess so. When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. And what would that be? Traveling the system with you, Captain. No. What about your last captain? Do you miss him? Or is one captain the same as another? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Have there been other captains of this ship? If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? <laughs> yes. He was. I mean... <laughs> How about something else? How can I be of assistance? I'd like to learn more about the colony. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Phineas's orbital lab. Ah, uh, yes. As Dr. Wells is a wanted... Oh, can we go there? He built his laboratory into an asteroid. 
Orbital destinations can be challenging to land on. Ooh. His more so than most. What do you know about Phineas? There is a bounty on his head. One with a markedly high reward amount. Shall I engage the laser weapon system? Um. Make it so, Ada. <laughs> do not do that. A sensible choice, as we do not have any laser weapons. Why'd you say the landing might be rough? The outlaw scientist known as Dr. Phineas V. Wells has taken a measure of precautions to make the lab undetectable to those hunting him. Even knowing the location, my systems resist my orders to go where I instruct oh. them. Oh. Hmm. I want to ask you about something else. Of course. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? The Groundbreaker. We are cleared to dock with the Groundbreaker if that's your desired destination. If we're going there, please be sure all docking forms have been filed in triplicate and fees have been paid. The Mardettes take their docking laws quite seriously. Uh, you can take care of that, right? I can, yes. <laughs> Let me add that to my list of 1,435,498 tasks I am simultaneously executing in order to run our ship. Great, thanks. You are more than welcome, Captain. Give me the spiel on the Groundbreaker. The Groundbreaker was Halcyon's original colony ship. It has since been repurposed as a service station in the Lagrange point of the system. Freighters often deliver or pick up goods from the Groundbreaker en route to other destinations. The city ship hosts oh, several man. cargo bays, factories, housing sections, and more. I can't wait to explore Many that place. Many of Halcyon's companies maintain office spaces with stationed representatives in what is considered a truly neutral territory within the system. I have filed the required docking forms in triplicate, and fees have been paid. I know, think of all the loot in there! Oh my lord, let's talk about something else. How can I be of assistance? Uh, oh. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Two more and then we're good, guys. Appreciate you hanging tight during this. Where in Terra 2? Emerald Vale and Edgewater. Edgewater is the sparkling county seat of Emerald Vale. Or it was when first built. Since then, neglect and time have worn away her shiny veneer. The town is near the coordinates where Captain Hawthorne died. It would not be unfortunate if something, like, say, a plague, were to wipe Emerald Vale from the face of the planet. Uh, uh are we just going to ignore that? <laughs> are we just not going to talk about that? <laughs> what do you think of the townspeople? You mean the ones who did not answer my distress call with medical assistance, but instead came to issue my injured captain a parking ticket? I'm sure they are wonderful humans who don't deserve to be wiped out by starvation or a devastating plague. How's Edgewater faring since we left it? Since you diverted power to Edgewater, the botanical lab shut down, and the deserters were forced to return to town. Meanwhile, the cannery's output increased, enabling the town's population to prosper. Thank you for nothing, Captain. <laughs> what would you have me? Uh, what would you have had me done? Kill everyone? I cannot say. First, I need to adjust my memory interpretation sensors. Blue his face. But I think my answer is yes. <laughs> what else about of somewhere course. else? What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Monarch. Where in Monarch? Uh, Stellar Bay. Ah, Monarch, the armpit of the Halcyon system. Her last functioning port town is Stellar Bay. Well, that is, if you don't count Sublight Smuggler's Port at Fallbrook. Why is Monarch being blockaded? I believe it has something to do with the planet being an uninhabitable wilderness and a lawless land with no corporate presence. You may wish to survey the residents in Stellar Bay for additional data points. Okay. Smuggler's Port? It's Sublight run for the purpose of shipping contraband. And before you ask, I don't know the coordinates, so I can't talk us there. Fair point. Hey, Sparks Boo. Okay, I think How we're good. How can I be good? of assistance? Yeah. Goodbye. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make sure. First, let's go back to our captain's quarters and see if we can find any logs on that robot. Uh, I didn't see any, but maybe some new things opened up. Ah, search term Sam. First Sam result. 
Do not forget, you found a discarded sanitation and maintenance auto mechanical and Emerald Veil scrap heap during your last job. It should not be too big, difficult to get it up and running. With a few key modifications, I can envision a combat capable variant. Some might say a clean, mean killing machine. Second same result. Removal of factory standard part Sud Steeper was successful. Delivery of combat modified replacement part Acid Steeper has been delayed. Progress setback is estimated not now to be a solid three months. Not like I have more pressing matters to attend to, uh, but I do. Third same result. I'm giving up hope on the delivery. The part is lost in transit and it's not showing up anytime soon, but good news. I heard from a fellow who knows a gal who knows the broker who overcharged me for the information regarding the location of an acid steeper. I can, uh, filch. The part was sent to an old storage facility in Roseway. I sure never thought I'd go back to that pit. Good thing Auntie abandoned it years ago. I, I'll pick it up following the next pit stop back to Emerald Vale. Wells wants me to chaperone some person of interest. Details to come later. Now, I'm assuming that's a different place, right? Yeah, part from the Roseway. I don't know what that is, but I don't think we're doing that yet. Okay, cool. All right, real quick, before we're fully done here, I want to talk to our dudes. Where's our, where's our, uh, where's, where's Pavardi? Do we have anything new to say with you? Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? We're all caught up. Perfect. Pavardi, where are you? You've gotta be around here somewhere, right? Can you look outside the ship windows? Yeah, you can. Um, in fact, the uh, the captain's quarters has like a big, cool window you can look through. Man, I have no idea where she is. Okay, yeah, see, so check this out. I so enjoy watching you sleep for hours on end, Captain. It's quite entertaining the way you drool and whimper. Um, I don't know how to feel about that. Engine room. Oh, let's go check the engine room. Good call. The one room I haven't gone into. And there she is, of course. I see that booty. Something busted, Captain? Did you learn your trade from your father? It sounded like it when you talked to Reed. Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. Wait, you left the poor man's area too fast and missed an event. They are literally referring to he is not with them. Eichmann hung around after and even he said if you leave too fast, you missed it. Oh, 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 you mean when we were, when we, after we, we sent Reed out and we were walking out? Is that what you're talking about? I'm guessing the event was just people talking about it, but yeah, which isn't a big deal. I'm guessing. But regardless, thank you for the tip and good to know. Rowan's Vanguard with the three years. Thank you, my man. By the way, Zagaria, Germsman18, Yamaha Hero, all three bringing five new people into our community. Thank you for the gift bomb, dude. Thank you. Outcasted Bird says, why back seat? The reason we back seat is because if you look in my tags, it says, back seating welcome. I play these games with you, not for you. If you guys ever want to tell me hints, if you guys want me to go someplace, if you have an opinion on what I'm doing, I am happy to hear it. So yeah, it, I know a lot of channels on Twitch don't like backseat gaming. We're the opposite here. I encourage backseat gaming. The only thing I don't want is spoilers. I don't want to know what's coming, and I don't want to know like the the conclusion of things that I'm doing. But outside of that, I I absolutely uh, love to hear from you guys. Yeah. And it says backseat gaming allowed. Excuse me, that was I, I incorrectly quoted that. <laughs> um, okay. You worked besides your father your whole life. Except for my schooling years, I was always beside him. Or tied to him. He used to carry me about in a sling when I was real little. When I got older, he set me to sorting tools and parts while he worked. Later, he taught me simple fixes like busted crate latches. Did your dad ever work on spaceships? Not on the regular. Once in a great long while, a Saltuna boat would break down on the pad. He'd always bring me along for those. Mostly, he did the same as me. Kept Bess. 
I mean, the, the cannery running. Turn loaders, plumbing and electricity, some plastering. I never got the hand of that. Reed seemed to have it in for you. I'm not exactly a model employee. Not like you wanted. The kind that stays quiet and gets the right work done in the right order every day. It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. That decides your schooling and your career. Uh. When I tested out for maintenance, everyone figured it was on account of my dad. They were real unhappy with us. Mm. Thank you, Dedrin, for the 1100 cheer and fighting hair with the five gift bomb. Dazzled links with the three years as well. Thank you, dude. This is Tiny Tina from Borderlands. I know, right? Talk about versatility. My lord. Why would people be unhappy about you getting a maintenance job? Because they were hoping their own kid would get the job and get sent back to Edgewater. When folk go away for schooling, they don't get back to where they begun. Not usually. You go straight to your first job, wherever the company's got an opening. You don't have any say in it at all? I reckon you could say, no thanks, I don't want a job. But then you don't got a job. But you're actually good at this, and you enjoy it. Well, I'm good at making things work the way they ought. Not so much at doing such to somebody else's schedule. There's times I'm working deep in the guts of a loader, getting it all running perfect. Then I look up to see it's tomorrow, and I've blown another deadline. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. I didn't care much for schooling. After school, you moved straight back to Edgewater? Yep, nothing much had changed. Everything was a little grayer, a little dirtier. Dad met me at the shuttle and gave me a big old hug. I noticed straight away that he was moving slower and stiffer. He made a little grunt when I squeezed. Oh. Did you get much time with him after you got back from school? About a year. Oh. I tried to do more of the work so he could rest. His heart gave him pains. Dad never said that he loved me, you know? I, I knew on account of him showing it. How he'd stay up late to help with my projects or listen to my fretting. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at the time. Sorry to bend your ear so long. And I got so much to do before this ship's in decent shape. I think it's time you move along, Parvati. Wait. Uh. That's, that's me telling her that I don't want her on the crew anymore, right? Yeah, okay. Great time's over. All right, let's talk to her again. I could probably spend years fixing this boat. Stem to stern. Yeah, okay. We're caught up with her. Great. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, Unexpected turbulence may cause loose containers to topple from the upper shelves. If you are crushed to death, I'll need to find a new captain. Uh, th thanks. Okay. Oh, there's six companions. Cool. Okay. Great, great, great. Man, that's so Mass Effect. I love it, dude. I love it. Okay, so I don't actually have any quests to do here. Which is great. But I do kind of want to take a look. Oh, look at that ship on the pad. That looks beautiful. Um, I do want to do a little bit of... Like, I just kind of want to see what happens. I want to go talk to Adelaide. Talk to the bartender, see if anything's changed. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. Oh. Okay, caught up with him. Also, I think I want to explore around here just a little bit more before we leave. Like, I want to go look at the volcano and stuff and see if there's anything else we can do. Check to see if Reed's actually gone. Yep, that's exactly what I'm doing. You missed the loading screen. It showed your choice you made. Really cool. Oh, nice. I'll have to pay more attention to the loading screens. You some sort of freelancer? Yeah, you can say that. I wonder if Reed's office is open now. You some sort of freelancer? Never imagined coming back to town. Guess it can't be helped. Keep your wits about you, friend. Cool, cool. Oh, look at my team. Yeah, boy. Woo! Did I side with the outcast or the town? Both. I diverted power to Edgewater, and then I made Adelaide the mayor. Oh, man. Bummer. Looks like we're never going to get Reed's key. 
I'm guessing that's if we took his side or maybe killed him. Maybe we have to kill him to get there. Got my sights on you. Time changes all things. Even Reed's stranglehold over Edgewater must inevitably yield to the attrition of time. Now that Reed's gone, what do you plan to do? Start anew. Edgewater Try to find his body. The town oh. it was meant to be, a place where we live in I harmony think so? with the world, where none of us writhe under the whips of corporate masters. Ooh. A place where all are welcome, except for Reed's supporters, of course. I was wondering about your garden. The garden will bloom anew. I have plans to transform the old cannery into a nursery with crops enough to feed a town. You're still using corpses in your fertilizer. But of course. And now we have a whole cemetery to ourselves. I'm weirdly okay with this. Like, okay, aren't you concerned about the plague? Saltuna was making the town sick. From now on, if anybody's hungry, they may feast from the bounty of the soil. Oh, 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 what is Buddy's ability? Oh, we got to look at him, first of all. Uh, Yeah, medium's good. Mix is fine. Aggressive is fine. Trick shot. Max examines and evaluates his target and spiritually enlightens them with a blast from his shotgun. Knocks the target to the ground, making them unable to take any action for a short while. Lowers all skills a moderate amount and target takes increased plasma shot corrosion and N-ray damage. Dude, that sounds awesome. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? Talk about enlightenment. <laughs> yeah. I like it. We gotta get them heavy helmets and uh, heavy armor. And nothing new here, unfortunately. Okay, now I'm kind of curious what some of these people are thinking about this situation. Let's take a look. So we've got... Here's the maintenance division. There's not going to be... Oh! Thomas! I never got a chance to thank you for hearing me out. Gave me the courage to ask for a job in the workshop. I see you decided to come back. I'm happy when I'm working with my hands. Just got to convince them to let me use the workshop. Oh, maybe I do have a power armor for Vicar. We'll take a look when we go back to the camp. Or, excuse me, our ship. I've been feeling pretty low these days. At least you got your health. Your story. Anything new with you? I've got nothing on my bounty board. That's a good feeling. Great. Anything new with you? Please, wander around. Touch things. I'm awfully contagious. Thanks, Martin. Always good to talk to you, my man. You're not a big drinker, are you? Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. Plague got you feeling woozy? Get yourself boozy with Spacer's Choice. <laughs> it's felt like chatting. Go ahead. When asking around, no one seems to know, seems to know anything about the hope. The hope? No. I've never mixed a drink by that name. I could get you a rum and something if you like. Rum and something. Wait, no, never mind. We're all out of something. I'm not talking about a drink. I'm from the Hope myself. You feeling a bit flushed? Look, why don't you go set yourself down in the corner before you get all tangle-footed? I'm not drunk. I just want to know if anyone else had made it off the Hope. Then pretend you're drunk. Sober folk don't talk the way you are. Not unless they're looking for a trip to Tartarus. That's where the lab is. The Hope's is. folklore, all right. 60, 70 year old folklore by now. The board don't approve of spreading seditious rumors and falsehoods. Mm. You're inviting trouble talking that way. And I don't want a part of it. Okay, you sound scared. Look, either shut your gob or stick a drink in it. We're done talking about this. Give me a drink. Coming right up. Okay, I guess we're getting a drink. I'm gonna drink some zero G brew. I thought I'd buy a drink, so I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy a drink. Oh, she's got a beet stick behind the counter. I like it. All right, let's drink some beer. I haven't drank a beer yet. Ah, oh, feeling good, man. Feeling good. 
Town's been humming with power. Somebody must have been down in the old plant. Who could that be? Go. Oh, we still can't do this. We need like uh, persuasion 30 something. I don't see how that's. Oh, we got it. I'm not trying to judge you. I'm just curious. You're the first to ask after me in some time. I'll give you that. But I don't have a story to share. My family's work spacer's choice for two generations, and I've lived in Edgewater just about all my life. Wanted to work in the sciences once upon a time. Would you believe it? That was a wild fancy. Oh. Glad I disabused myself. She had a dream of being a scientist. What happened? What happened, you ask? What always happens when you're dreaming? I woke up. I just didn't have the brains for it. Asked too many questions. Wasn't suited to the work. So I did the right thing and worked the life I was always meant to live. Now that I'm behind a bar, I can ask all the questions I want. Important ones. Like when are you gonna pay your tab? And would you like another round of cold refreshing zero G? Asking questions is the foundation of science. The best scientists ask too many. Don't talk to me that way, please. Spent many years disabusing myself of that notion. Don't need you putting it back in my head. Hmm. Lab work ain't for me. Never was. Never will be. Spacer's Choice put me where I belong. And for that, I am grateful. Hmm. I don't like Spacer's Choice took care of you. They did. They gave me a life. Damn, I was kind of hoping we could convince her. This is where I belong. You've been scrubbing dishes all your life? What's wrong with that? It's good, honest work. I mean, nothing. Pots and pans don't scrub themselves. Glasses don't fill themselves either. I scrub dishes for Unless a long time. Unless you're in Byzantium. I hear everything's automated there. Not that I'll ever find out. Not so fast. I told you about my life. Your turn to tell me about yours. So, what's your story? Oh. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. That right. Prove it. I'm the last survivor of the colony ship Hope. Everyone else is frozen. I already asked you not to bring that up around me. Change the subject or buy something. Hey, girl, you asked. Don't look at me. Okay, so much for small talk. <laughs> Rude. All right, time to break into the other bathroom. <laughs> 